your 20s are the most important period of your life. And if you do things right, you can make the right purchases that will set you up for the next decades and be rich in time, rich in mind, and rich in your bank balance. But if you do things wrong, you will spend the rest of your life living in regret and being mediocre. Now, every year I spend thousands of dollars into my personal life. And therefore today I'm going to share the seven best purchases to make in your 20s and become rich. Your 20s should be a period of focus on becoming a man of value, a man of skills, and a man of experience. But how do you get to that, you might ask? Let's get into it. First best purchase in your 20s is traveling and buying plane tickets. Now, you probably weren't expecting this one, but it's going to make sense. You need to understand that the world is more than just your home city or the town that you live in. Now, without a doubt, I spent a big chunk of my income on traveling in my my 20s. LA, Dubai, San Francisco, Barcelona, Amsterdam, Istanbul, and so many more cities around the world. A lot of these cities, I actually traveled solo. This built up my confidence, my communication skills, and my network. Now, the reason for this is because I travel to gain perspective and see how people in different cities are living. This broadens my mindset, increases my experience, and builds my confidence. Luke Belmar calls it collecting data sets. Now, you never know what you like until you experience it. That's why you should travel to see the world. You can find your new home, your new partner, new friends, and new business opportunities. And in fact, you don't need to have a lot of money to do this. You can travel on a budget and make do with what you have. Now, I once booked a return flight from London to LA for under 300 bucks, which is crazy. And one of my flights to Italy cost me 10 bucks. That's basically free travel. The next best purchase in your 20s is self-education. Now, I spend thousands of dollars every every year upgrading the software in my brain, investing in my skills and becoming more educated. Now the world pays you on the value that you bring to others. So if you're able to increase your value by learning new skills, then you're going to drastically boost your wealth. In my 20s, I've learned to code, I make content on YouTube, build my confidence and communication skills, I can build software products, I have a deep understanding of cloud computing, I can speak multiple languages, and now I'm focusing on using my knowledge and expertise to build an AI and AWS agency, helping businesses adopt these technologies to serve their customers better. Now you can do this as well. You can use your time to learn new skills and then leverage them to build wealth. Now the good thing is when you are young, you can learn things much faster. So use it to your advantage in your 20s, but fundamentally learning a high income skill that you can leverage and make money from is such a key part that you need to do in your 20s. The next best purchase in your 20s is a gym membership. Now, to be successful, you need to be physically strong. When you exercise, your body releases chemicals called endorphins. Endorphins also trigger a positive feeling in the body. These endorphins interact with the receptors in your brain that reduce your perception of pain. For example, the feeling that follows a run or a workout is often described as euphoric. That feeling is known by a runner's high and can be accompanied by a positive outlook on life. This will give you a boost for the rest of the day and naturally just gives you more energy to put into your work. I've been exercising since I was four years old playing football and any sport I could do through school and college. Then I started lifting weights at 17 and began building muscle. Now I am in pretty decent shape. I do 5K runs every other day for heart health and then lift weights in between. The truth is exercising in your 20s will give you the greater returns in your 30s and 40s while you have more energy than the people around you. Now everything in life compounds and being in a great shape automatically gains you respect from the people people around you. Now, the next best purchase in your 20s is investing in an index fund. Now, I do think investing in an index fund is super boring, but the numbers, they don't lie. If you invest $200 per month into the S&P 500 index fund, which typically returns 10% since it was created, then in 45 years, you have over $2 million. And this is tax-free cash if you invest in an IRA or an ISA in the UK. 
over time your $200 compounds and generates a higher return. Now, 45 years is a long time, but throughout those years, you will make a lot more money. But at the same time, you know, by the time you retire, you will have your $2 million waiting for you. Now, see this as a backup option, a retirement fund, and get into the habit of investing your money that gives you returns further down the line. Now, remember that keeping money in the bank loses value every year due to inflation. And when you invest into an index fund like the S&P 500, you are buying a percentage of the top 500 companies in the world, which means that your risk is spread across 500 companies rather than buying individual stocks, which makes an index fund a much safer investment. Now, the next best purchase in your 20s is buying books and reading. Now, I used to think reading was so boring, but as I got older, I understood that reading gives you perspective, it improves your mindset, and it teaches you things that you won't learn unless you face them in your life. It's almost like having a personal life coach, but loads of different ones who have been there and done it. Now, here are my three favorite books of all time. The first one is The Way of Superior Man. The second one is Millionaire Master Plan. And the third is Art of War. And let me know in the comments what you've learned. I will link all of them in the description below. Now, these books aren't the classic boring books that everyone recommends, like The 4-Hour Workweek or Think and Grow Rich. Because if everyone is reading those books, you don't get any competitive advantage. You're all going to know the same things. So that's why I try and not read these mainstream books and learn something different. Now, the next best purchase in your 20s is coffee but not your standard $5 Starbucks coffee. And actually, this isn't about buying coffee. I want you to go and sit in affluent places like five-star hotels and their lobbies. Grab a coffee and just experience how the hotel staff speak to you and treat you differently. Now, you might have to spend a few more dollars on your coffee, but you are in an environment where other rich and successful people spend their time in and also do business deals in. Now, you'll see these people with $150,000 watches and you realize that they don't actually wear any branded clothing like Gucci or Dior. The vibe, the aesthetic, the environment just makes you feel rich. Just makes you feel rich. And you can start networking and build relationships. These hotels cost around three to $1,000 a night, but you can just make use of their facilities for $10. Now, I do this a lot. I open up my laptop in the coffee area, order a coffee, and just get some work done. And once you start seeing these kind of people, you start to acknowledge that you can do it too. In fact, the same people will tell you these exact things that I've been telling you to do in this video. The next best purchase in your 20s is a side hustle. Now, one thing you should have learned by now is that a single revenue stream is not safe nor is it sustainable. The average millionaire has seven streams of income and you have to use your spare time to make more money through side hustles. Now, I've done so many different side hustles from building websites to graphic design to flipping sneakers. This has given me a unique skill set to be able to learn different money-making methods. Now, if I was to lose my income tomorrow, I would be able to make a few thousand bucks very quickly because I've experimented and tried multiple ways of making money. Try different ways of making money and build multiple revenue streams. Now, the great thing about a side hustle is that it can grow and become a full-time business if you want it to be. Or you might just want to make a few hundred dollars a month extra, which you can use to pay for your gym memberships, the books you are reading, or invest it into an index fund. I've made a video where I've shared the ways that you can make an extra $10,000 a month and I'll link that in the description of my bio. So ladies and gentlemen, those were the seven best purchases to make in your 20s to become a man of value, a man of skills and a man of experience. Work hard, stay focused and I'll see you on the next one.